Well, we are gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the coming together of these two very special lives. We've come to join Jeremy and Aubrey in marriage and to be with them and to rejoice with them in the making of this very important commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety as a companion, a love, and a friend. It's from Jeremy. He says, Aubrey, I love you so much. I've been waiting for this day for a very long time. Since that first night we matched on Hinge, I've been fascinated with you. You're the love of my life, and I can't wait to build a family and future with you. Our lives already are so amazing, and it's about to be even better. Let's enjoy tonight, and maybe remember it forever. I know to make you happy, to make you smile, to make you warm, to make you laugh. Sorry. <laughs> I will always be there for you. I promise to love you and support you, no matter what. I'm your number one fan. So we know that your love for each other will continue to grow deeper each and every day. And the willingness to accept each other's strong and weak points with patience and sympathy is the foundation of a strong marriage. So we know that love requires forgiveness also for those times that you might lose sight of the peace and the joy. And speaking of joy, it's also all about the watching of the sports together, right? Yes. You know, you Let's love to watch ask. the sports together. <laughs> so Jeremy, do you love and support Aubrey for who she is today and all that she will become? Do you enter into this marriage with complete commitment and trust and honesty, openness and understanding so that you both may reach your full potential in life together? And do you promise to love and honor and cherish Aubrey through sickness and in health, hard times and good times, and for all of your days together? I do. I do. I very do. Okay. Jeremy, you're so lucky to have found your soulmate, and Aubrey, you're lucky to have found someone who'll make you laugh every day, usually unintentionally. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brother and my favorite new sister, finally. I love you both, and cheers. Aubrey, I give this ring to you as a symbol of our marriage. For today and tomorrow. And all the days to come. I give you my all. love and my trust. All the days. <laughs> I give you my love and my trust. Acceptance and respect. I promise to be faithful to you for as long as I live. With this ring, I, I thee would. With this ring, I thee would. When I was sitting down to write my vows, I kept thinking back to March 2019 in Arizona to a different wedding on a different golf course. Um, I remember us being outside later in the evening. My head was on your lap. We were next to the fireplace because it's cold in Arizona at night. And I was many margaritas and wines in. But between miscellaneous conversation, you just looked down and told me that you loved me. And that was one of the best nights of my life. You're the kindest person I know, and you make me feel like the most loved human being on the planet. You've always accepted me for who I am and encouraged me and supported me to grow. You're my best friend, and I'm so lucky you chose for me to be your wife. I promise to laugh with you and never stop falling more in love with you. I'll forever be grateful that you waited in that bar for 45 minutes for me, <laughs> which I have come to realize was that this was meant to be because I was clearly running on Bracken time. <laughs> <laughs> You've given me such a beautiful life, and I can't wait to spend forever with you. I want to give you a kiss. Side kisses don't count. I love waking up next to you each and every day and starting with a smile. Even if we did stay up late the night before playing games or watching Seinfeld, King of the Hill, Game of Thrones, you name it. Um, your beauty brightens the room. Your goofiness and sarcastic attitude <laughs> make you a joy to be around. You're also the most caring person that I know. Literally, you make a cake for everybody's birthday. I know that I can be stubborn and sometimes forgetful, but hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you get, you, you hit your head a lot. I mean, it happens. I also know that it's, it's hard for me to make a decision and that frustrates you sometimes, but 
I know I made the right decision when I chose you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Jeremy, I love you for so many reasons. First, three that come to mind are that you're pretty, you're funny, and you're heavy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. It's Seriously, it's how was golf? It's good. It's good. Who won? Me and Coulter. Nice. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank Sheila and David, Aubrey's parents, for raising such an amazing woman and amazing bride for my brother. <laughs> Thank you to our parents, Tony and Ken, for raising Jeremy, as well as Tiffany and myself, as a great trio of siblings that will forever share an unbreakable bond. Your parenting has taught us that love, strength, and happiness is the most important things in life. You're the kindest person I know, and you make me feel like the most loved human being on the planet. You've always accepted me for who I am and encouraged me and supported me to grow. You're my best friend, and I'm so lucky you chose me to be your wife. I promise to always be there to listen to you and support you, honor you, and challenge you. I promise to make you princess chicken noodle soup when you're sick, <laughs> and mac and cheese because it makes you happy. <laughs> I promise to continue working on growing to love summertime Jeremy and getting better at golf. I remember the first time I met Jeremy. Um, Aubrey brought him in and I was doing a show. He walked up to me and he was, he looked terrified. He looked freaking terrified. And I was like, what did she tell him about me? I was like, I'm not a beast. But either way, he was terrified. But I knew that's how important, but I knew that's how important it was for Aubrey, for you to meet me that night. And I also knew in that moment that you loved her. Jeremy was her person in this world. She found the one person that made her comfortable to be who exactly who she was, who exactly who she is and who, who she will be. He will be everything perfect for her from now on because they are meant to be together. I'm so excited to call you sister. And I just want to know you could always call me brother. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm not just your best man today, but forever. You are now Team Bracken. And so please, <laughs> Team Bracken, everybody. So, <laughs> so please remember that you're best friends and always have each other's back. Um, forgive often, laugh always. And, um, I just want you to know, without a doubt, you guys are my favorite couple on this planet. Um, and I love you both so much. And I can't wait to watch your family grow in love and happiness. Family and friends, by the power of best in me, by the church and by the state of Colorado, I do pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremy and Aubrey, please share your first kiss as newlyweds. Family and friends, it is with great pleasure that I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy and Aubrey Bracken. Aubrey, I knew this night was real when I looked at your plates, uh, having all your food separated. I'm excited that not only to have you officially join the Bracken family, but that you've taken on the responsibility of my brother. Yeah, all those Legos in the basement, you now own those. We really hope that Jeremy would find somebody as caring and as awesome as he is. Um, and luckily for Jeremy, he did. 
you just remember just to keep Aubrey's pretty easy to please just remember if she's you know at any given moment she's probably cold just get her a jacket or a blanket I just remember she's always down for whatever shenanigans and whatever adventures you have planned because she wants to be with you <laughs> Jeremy and I have been best friends for the last 20 years or so. I kept saying that Jeremy and I had been together for 20 years instead of our friendship for 20 years, which it's kind of felt like that in the sense of how close we've been over the years. So, um, <laughs> but really, no, like, no, really. I don't have many memories in my life without Jeremy, especially the big ones such as standing here with, with everyone here today. together I just want to promise you all something and I solemnly swear we are up to no good <laughs> life of love, happiness, and many adventures. Cheers to your beautiful future together. I love you both to the moon and Bracken.